In last video, we have covered how to create basic agent and utilize tool calls using agent config in Google ADK. And in this particular video, we are going to explore how to create multi agent using agent config. So in this case also, we can go ahead and create our folder using ADK create command like how we have created it earlier. And that particular command would create your na.py file, environment file and the root agent.yml file. Now we have to make certain changes in root agent.yml file. If we compare this particular root agent.yml with our earlier root agent.yml, then there are certain differences that you could see in this particular case. So here you could see our agent class is going to be the same. The name is going to be the root agent and then we are passing some description in this case so these three things are same and after that you can see i have modified few things in the instructions and if you have to pass multi-line comments over here in this particular yaml file then then we have to pass this pipe over here and after that like we can pass over instruction so in this case i'm just saying so in this case i'm just saying please answer the user questions based on the information provided by the sub agents now follow these steps use capital agent to provide the capital information of a given country and use population agent to provide the population information of a given country and after that i'm passing this model now if we go to the lm config syntax then we can see over here there is an option of sub agent and if we click on this then you could see it's a type of array and then in the properties we can see like we have to pass a config path or we can pass a code so here what we are de doing like just to define the sub agents we are passing a config path because we are specifically saying okay use capital agent to provide the capital information so we have to pass the config path of this particular agent the capital agent and then we are saying okay use population agent to provide the population information of a given country so we are passing this config path over here to pass the population agent.yml file now where exactly we are going to define this in this folder only you can see we can manually create these yml files and if i go to the capital agent.yml file then we can pass the same instruction so this is also going to be the class of lm agent and here here I have just given the name of capital agent, pass the description and the instruction. Please provide the capital information for a given country and the model name. And similarly, I have created this population underscore agent.yml manually. It's not going to be created with the command. So you can just copy paste this root agent.yml, modify the name, modify the instructions, and then it would be good to go. And in this population agent, also you can see I have provided a specific instruction where it's saying okay, population information for a given country. And then because I have defined these two particular yaml file inside the same folder where i have this root agent.yml so i can just pass the name like this suppose if you have put all these two yaml file into sub in specific folder then you have to pass the folder name and slash your yaml file name this path should be related to your root folder otherwise it won't be able to pick it up and you would be seeing some errors so i can just pass the my yaml file directly like this and this is how actually we can define the sub agents in this particular case now if you are defining the sub agents then what would happen based on the user query this particular LR model would identify whether the given query is related to capital agent or whether it's related to population agent and then it will transfer to a specific agent accordingly so let me just go ahead and try to run this to show you how this is going to work so I will just go ahead and run the ADK web on the root folder itself Google ADK agents which is going to be the this parent folder and then i will just click on this link and from here i have to select my agent so i will go over here and i will select this multi agent config and here i can just ask what is the population of india and you can see transfer to agent call is getting invoked it's completed over here and it's saying like i cannot provide the real time population data and just to invoke another agent i can just ask another question what is the capital of india In in this case also the transfer to agent call should get invoked and this particular answer should come from the capital agent so we can see first of all we can explore from where actually we have got this specific output and we just want to make sure the population agent call is being invoked so in this case i can just click on this particular icon and you can see the population agent is getting invoked and from here actually we are getting the output you can see the text also in this case whereas if i click on this particular agent then you can see the capital agent call got invoked and we have got the text like this using the agent config also we were able to create a multi-agent system using the sub agents 
now as we have seen earlier also there are a certain other configuration also which can be developed using agent config so in this case let's try to create this sequential agent config and see like how it works so for this we will go to our another folder which is going to be this sequence agent config again everything is going to be same our root agent is going to be defined like this so in this case you can see we have defined our agent class as a sequential agent and whenever we are defining any specific agent config then we have to make sure like we have to pass only the properties which are listed over here so in this case basically we do have agent class name which is going to be the required description and the sub agents we don't have anything else and because as we have seen in our earlier video sequential agent parallel agent and loop agent these are just the workflow so in this particular case we don't have to pass any model specific thing because model is not going to invoke the specific agents it would just run in the sequence which we are going to define over here because we are defining a sequential agent in this case and we are just passing the capital agent first and after that we are passing the population agent so it is going to be triggered in this particular sequence only in this case we have defined our sequential agent as a root agent and that's why it has been put into root underscore agent.yml file then we have given the simple description and after that the sub agents thing what we have defined in this case only difference is now because we have invoked it as a sequential agent so it is going to trigger in the given sequence only and also let's see okay how we have defined our capital and population agent so the capital agent is going to be the same what we have defined earlier only additional thing what we have included over here is the output key where we are going to capture the response which this particular agent is going to generate and after that we want to pass that particular response to population agent because we are trying to trigger it in the sequential manner so whatever the output we are getting from the capital agent for that particular output only we want to generate the population information and that's why you can see the input has been passed like this and this is the same output key which we have generated over here here you can see the name is capital city now if you have to pass it under the population agent then we have to pass it under the curly braces so only difference is please provide the population information of a given and then the city is going to come from the capital agent and that's how actually we were doing it via code also so if I go into the code in the sequential agent which we have covered earlier you could see whenever we were defining via code then these were the LLM agent this is the LLM agent here we were having the output and the same output then we were passing it in the instruction of a under the population agent as a key and then at the last there was a sequential agent and then we were defining our sequences like this so same thing actually we are achieving over here as well but the only thing is we are using config and not the code so now let's try to run this one as well and see like what output we get i'm just going to trigger adk web and we can select the sequential agent config and now i'm just going to ask the same question what is the capital of india so as of now the first agent got triggered and we have got the output like this the capital of india is new delhi now new delhi is going to get passed to the population agent and that population agent would try to give us a rough number of this new delhi and you could see we are able to get the output also according to 2011 census the population was this now let's validate it so i can just click on this capital agent and you can see here we are having the sequential agent box first of all the capital agent got triggered and then i click on the population one then you can see the population got triggered now you can create more advanced multi-agent system just using the agent config and you don't have to write any code as such that's all what we have in this video thank you for watching